supply of being stuck. It's been a challenging last two months for me, where things seem to spiral downward, despite my best efforts. I was forced to realize that my expectations of where I should be going and how fast were being completely deconstructed. Things seemed to grind to a halt. My income, my quest for new living space, progress with building the business back after several setbacks. And despite knowing better, I came to the conclusion that I was just stuck emotionally, spiritually, physically, and mentally. One of my beloved mentors, an Access Consciousness facilitator, did a Facebook Live broadcast last night. She got my attention when she said, Hi Boyd, and I hadn't even commented. <laughs> this broadcast started me on what feels like a bit of release from the stuckness. She said, Being stuck is a lie. Just look at your skin. It's being rebuilt every day. The air you breathe has different molecules that have been all around the world. And your heart is beating and circulating all that new food and air and water you've been putting into it. That's just one part of the being stuck lie. The other part is that by declaring that you're stuck, you've just made a giant conclusion about everything that's happening around you. This limits your awareness of what is actually not stuck. Start being grateful and asking things like, I'm breathing new fresh air. What else is possible? Or every day is a new day. What changes can happen here? So that pulled my head out of the perceived rut I'd gotten myself into long enough to start asking, what else can change here? What is possible I haven't even thought of? What can I do to really change things? I finally got back in touch with the quantum world where particles and waves are constantly darting here, there, and everywhere, wave upon wave of changing conditions, bringing new and fantastic possibilities now available to all of us. Yes, sometimes things do seem like they're moving like molasses in January, but that doesn't mean that they've stopped moving. Besides, why focus in on the molasses when unique snowflakes are falling, the elk are running, the wind is gusting, and the plant world is awakening with green promises of spring. As my shaman friend points out, 2017 is the year of acceleration. Fundamental changes are shifting the very foundations upon which we have built our lives. What is crumbling and falling apart are all the slow parts that can't accelerate at the speed necessary. So, what may seem like stuckness is actually an awareness of acceleration, making our life seem like it's standing still. Watch for the movement, watch for the new possibilities, and watch for that new vehicle coming to whisk you to the stars. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy RX www.pureenergyrx.com